Hey guys, Josh here. It is August 4th of 2016 and I have an idea. I'm a researcher, engineer, student uh, for my PhD at Lehigh University and I just thought it'd be interesting to show you guys a little bit of what I do every day. Uh, so starting today, I think I'm going to upload probably one video a day, Monday through Friday, maybe on the weekend if something fun comes up. So now I'm out in the big lab and this is where my brother Peter is. He's building this thingy over here. Just wanted to explain a little bit of why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, you know, I've been uploading weekly content for a little bit here, but I really wanted to, to do more. I love the days I put up videos. So these may be shorter, but I'm hoping they'll be a little bit more intimate into my life and what I do and hopefully a little more enjoyable to watch, but they'll probably be a little shorter because I'm doing more of them. So, it is 11.05 and I have not had coffee. I don't know if you see my last video, if not, you should check it out right here. But in it, I compare the efficiency of different forms of transportation. Whoa. The one thing that I look at is a bus. And in the film, I say that 72 people are needed to fill the bus before it's efficient, as efficient as walking. A bus can't hold that many people. But then I saw something a few months ago that they're doing in China that adds more people to the standard bus. And then it popped up again in the past day. This is the video. Basically this thing is a bus that drives on top of cars and holds 300 people. The idea is not a particularly bad one. Let's say you're here in your car. In this case, it's a truck because I couldn't find a car. And you're sitting there in a traffic jam. Yeah. And then let's suppose that this little thingy is the new bus train thingy. This thing can basically fly down the road over top of the cars. This is all well and good and and honestly it's a good idea but there's one thing I thought of initially. See when I was a kid you'd be driving down the highway beside a tractor trailer truck you're looking at the trailer suddenly he starts to go faster than you and you feel like you're going backwards. You're not going backwards you just felt that way because of the motion of the bus relative to you. If you'd look the other way you'd know that you weren't. However, what if the truck was on both sides of you and the top? That effect would be multiplied. So if you're coming up to an intersection behind a parked car under the train and you're going the same speed as the train or the train's going slightly faster, you'll either feel like you're stopped or going backwards. But you'll find out you're not when you hit the car. <laughs> This is 
pretty much my day. Sit at the computer, do stuff. And then every once in a while, we have a meeting. And that'll pretty much conclude, conclude the day of work. Heading out now for the last thing of the day. Just one more thing to do. It's actually a good end of the day. It's nice and cool. Well, that wasn't very successful. The lawnmower died about halfway through. So, that'll pretty much wrap up my day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. That's it.